Okay, so here's my Sato FA40S engine all in pieces. As you can see, I've got everything all cleaned up now. I didn't use my ultrasonic cleaner. I just uh, soaked them in some LA's Totally Awesome cleaner and scrubbed them with a toothbrush and other little brushes. I did not remove the valves. <coughs> I didn't see a need for that because this head is in great shape. Carb, I totally disassembled the carb and cleaned that all up too. So this thing's in great shape, ready to go. I haven't put anything back together, but this camshaft, our gear timing housing wasn't in bad shape. Nor was the timing gear, it wasn't even dirty really at all. So let's see, crankshaft, now all nice and cleaned up. It was pretty nasty looking. Here's the old set of bearings. Here are the new bearings. I just so happen to have the right size bearings on hand, so I'll be installing these and putting these back on. Putting this engine back together now. Here's my piston. Didn't really have to do much of anything to that. I wipe, You saw me wipe the top of that head, and this ring was already loose and free, so I mean, I did take the wrist pin out and dress it up a little bit, but I mean, there's really nothing left to do here. Everything's pretty much ready to go back together. Here's my crankcase, bearings, pinion gear, and spacer and crankshaft for the first step of reassembly. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is this front bearing is shielded on both ends, so I'm going to remove one of these shield ends here. Just like that. And as it turns out, these nice Turnigy screwdrivers that a subscriber sent to me one of them, unfortunately, the smaller one, kind of broke. Tip split, but it turns out that it's split and broke in such a way that it's just kind of at an angle and it makes the perfect tool for getting in there and pulling bearing braces out. So I'm not so broken up about it as I would be ordinarily. So first bearing I'm going to put in will be front bearing. Then I'll put all these things on the crankshaft. I can kind of get the crankshaft ready right now. I'm just going to kind of initially start that. I'm not going to be able to push this whole bearing on there. That's what the press will be for, but then I can go ahead and put my pinion gear on here. Slide my collar in place, and now all of this stuff's ready to be reassembled. All I gotta do is get my press up here. Okay, so I got my press up here now. I'm gonna go ahead and set my crankcase up here. Heat this up just a little bit. That should be enough. Get this. in. <coughs> so this, I'll lube all this stuff up real good. I pretty much already got my crankshaft lubed up. Get some on the outer portion of this bearing. Now I'm going to heat this case up right now. Actually, I need to get my drive socket, which I don't have. Okay, uh, that one will work. Okay, so I'm going to heat this up. My drive socket on here. hot but yet it appears to be <coughs> properly seated and spinning freely Ooh, it's warm next step is to reassemble this timing gear housing now this particular engine is old enough that it actually came with these 
Teflon spacers instead of the steel ones. Sometimes the later ones came with uh, steel steel washers there. So these kind of sort of stay on there a little bit. You put a little oil there. You just got to figure out which one you want to put in first. I usually like to go in from this side. This side that has the grub screw that holds it in place has to engage in this slot so you stick the non-slot side in first and just kind of slide this guy down there you can make sure it's lined up or the hole is centered right by doing that and then just kind of push that thing in there and we just run our set screw down and now that's ready to go. Now you'll notice the cam followers are still out. That's because I don't want to put them in. These cam followers will go in from the top. But you got to make sure you put the cupped in facing up for the push rod. Now this one I can go ahead and put in. The exhaust one can go in right now. The intake one is going to be used for setting the timing for this little hole. I'm going to insert this screwdriver through there and it's going to go right into that hole. Just like that. And that hole will also hold the timing dot right here at the 6 o'clock position. <clears throat> so now all I need is my gasket. which doesn't look like it's got any breaks or tears in it, so I'll just reuse that gasket. And I'll just find my... You know what? I've got a gasket set here. I'm just going to put a new gasket on this guy. Alright, so to set the timing, <clears throat> I've already got my timing gear screwdriver in here holding that in place. Now the only other thing i got to do is make sure I keep my crankshaft at top dead center. And I'm basically just holding pressure on it with my finger here. And that pin, the guide pin for the uh, pinion gear is facing upwards. So I'm just going to drop this right in place here. And drop a screw in here. Crankshaft is locked. It's a top dead center. So this engine is timed. Next step, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and drop this other cam follower in before I forget. Cam followers are in place. A little oil in there. I always use a lot of oil. Okay, so next. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lube this piston up. It's got a little bit on here already. I'm going to find which direction. I guess it doesn't really matter which direction it goes. I can twirl it in here. I'm going to install this in the head here. So I'm pinching the piston ring. Make sure my wrist pin retainers are there in place and insert that in the head. Now I need to see which side is chamfered <coughs> so I know which way is the front. Looks like this side is the front. Yep. So we'll turn that this way. We'll engage this on the crank pin here.
Okay, so I've got the rocker arm retaining pins, my push rods, and my rocker arms here. And I'm going to put my push rods in. Now, Sato push rods are not symmetrical. One end is tapered, and that tapered end goes up and engages in the cup of the rocker arm. So I'm going to insert those tapered side up. completed engine. I just finished putting the carb on, back plate, uh, set the valves real quick. So this is our finished engine. You can see it's got very good compression. So it's probably going to go out and get a nice run today and see how it goes. Everything's all cleaned up, valves set. It's ready to go.